What's up guys? As promised, I'm gonna do this how to wash your gi video. Uh, first off, I wanna show you the products that I use. So this is what I use. I use Purcell because um, it's lighter on my skin. I have very sensitive skin and um, I'm actually allergic to Tide and, and Gain. So I use Purcell because it's a lot lighter and it's safe on my sensitive skin. And when I wash whites, the white geese, I use these two. And when I wash the colors, I use these two together. Okay, so this OxyClean is actually good for colors. You can see right there. So and these are my pile of geese that I'm gonna wash. I'm washing my blues and navy blues together. So I live in an apartment, so I don't I don't have access to my own washer dryer. So I don't um, I can't wash my gi immediately after training, like most people. So what I do is after training, I actually just hang my gis outside to dry. I don't mix it with my normal clothes and put it in the hamper that will actually make it really funky if you do that so i hang it outside wait for it to dry and then i just pile my geese in a separate pile and it's usually outside in my balcony so after training i usually like hang it up on this railing so that the you know people sweat and my sweat dries off and then i'll pull put it in a pile like this when it's all dry so always machine wash cold your geese see it's set right here to cold i always fill it up with a little bit of water before i put in the oxyclean and the detergent so i'll put in the oxyclean first and then i will pour the purcell det detergent which is nice and light, good for people with eczema like me um, or any sensitive skin. So I'll pour that in. So here are my pile of navy blue geese. I always wash the darks together. One other thing I do different is I fill the washer up halfway, about halfway, and then I will get either my shoulder brace or my knee brace, depending on what I wore that week, and I'll use it to mix the detergent and OxyClean around in the water. So why do I do this? It's because sometimes the OxyClean, if you don't mix it around, it'll leave white streaks on your gi. It does come off though. So, but to prevent that, I mix around the OxyClean and det detergent with the water when it's halfway full. And then I put the gi's in on top. I also wash my rash garden shorts with the darks. And my washer at my apartment fits three A1 geese perfectly. So our, my washer goes about 40 minutes for the wash cycle. So that's how I wash my geese. I think it's pretty simple. Um, I don't, I can't wash my, my gi immediately after training. Uh, I don't think I would do that anyways because I feel like I would waste a lot of water just washing, using the washer with just one gi. So my washer, the community washer I have here in the apartment um, can fit three of my A1 gis. So I wear A1. Um, I wear the same color consecutively so that I can bundle or I wash those three gis together. I don't mix my white gis with my blue gis or um, my white keys with my black keys. I, I do mix the blues and blacks together. They don't bleed onto each other. So 
I do that. Um, but the white geese, I definitely keep separate. Um, and with the white geese, I mix the Brazil with the OxyClean White Revive. Uh, that mixture together keeps the geese pretty damn white. I don't need to use bleach. Bleach will actually make your geese yellow and, uh, and it'll make it brittle. Uh, speaking of brittle, if you hang dry your geese outside in the sun, uh, the sun does this, um, it affects it just like bleach. Uh, it makes it uh, discolored. It also makes it weak and brittle. Uh, it's the same effects as the bleach. So I don't do that. Um, I do hang dry my geese outside, but um, it's covered. Uh, my, my balcony's covered. It doesn't, you know, there, there's no direct sunlight that hits the geese. And, um, but I still get good airflow. So, but sometimes if it's uh, raining, I'll hang my, my geese inside. Um, what else? Uh, don't mix them with your normal clothes. Don't, don't wash your geese with your, normal, with your normal clothes. I think I did that the first week I did ghee, and um, I think I made like all my clothes smell like um, my ghee. It's, it was disgusting. So I always wash it separately. Wash your ghee separately from your normal clothes. Uh, trust me, uh, it will save you from smelling. So that's pretty much what I do, and that's uh, I'm doing this video because people always ask me, it's like, why, uh, coach, your geese always nice and fresh and clean, and that's the way I do it. Um, you know, it was a lot of trial and error. I was washing my geese with Tide, and uh, I realized that I'm actually allergic to those um, really good smelling detergents and so I use Purcell which is very light and um, but uh, still cleans your geese very well and um, the fragrance is, is awesome I think it still smells amazing but it's, it's not as strong as like Tide and Gain uh, and that's pretty much it I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this ghee washing tutorial I don't even know what to call it um, but I've had some students ask me how I wash my geese how I how I upkeep my geese and you know people ask me how I fold them and how I tie my draw drawstring and my belts um, so I'll, I'm more than willing to share all of that with you guys so happy training Os.